Hi everyone! Today I'm going to walk you through a problem from lead code. It is called the problem valid parenthesis. First we're going to look at the problem description and then I'm going to walk you through my solution. In our method we are receiving a string which contains different kind of parentheses. Concerning these brackets we have to check if each opening bracket has a matching closing bracket and also the open brackets must be closed in the correct order. When we scroll down we see a few examples, so this one is true, the second one also because they are all closed in a correct way, the third one is false because we don't have a matching closing bracket, in the fourth example we have matching closing brackets but they are not in the correct order and in the last one we have another correct example. The data structure we will use is a stack. So let's jump over to GIMP. So as an example, here is our input string. And with our code, we are going to loop through each of the brackets and do something with the bracket. And in our case, it makes sense to use a stack in this way that we are pushing the opening brackets into the stack. So Let's say we are looking at the first bracket and then we are pushing it onto our stack like this and then we move on to the next opening bracket and also push it on the stack. Then we look at the third one and because it is a closing bracket we will have a look into our stack and check the bracket which is here. And because this bracket is matching to the closing bracket, we will pop the bracket of the stack. So this will be gone then. Moving on, we are going to the next bracket. Again, it's a closing one. So again, we look into the stack and find the matching opening bracket. And then we can pop it off the stack. And after we are done looking at all the brackets, we will check our stack if it is empty. And because this is the case, we know that the string is correct. Now let's look at the code for this. I'm using C Sharp. And first we are creating a new stack. Then we are looping through all the characters in the string. And as I said, we check if we have an opening bracket. And if this is the case, we are pushing the char onto the stack with the push method. Then we check if our stack count is zero, meaning if the stack is empty. Because when we arrive at this point, we know that we have checked for opening brackets already. So one of the opening brackets should be on the stack if the string is correct. So if the stack count is zero, we know that we don't have an opening bracket at all. So we can instantly return false and we know the string is false. If we find something on our stack, we can move on to the closing bracket check. So we check which closing bracket we find. And then we look into our stack with the peak method and check if what we find is the matching opening bracket. Afterwards, we pop this char off, off the stack. If we didn't find the opening bracket, we will return false. The same goes for the other brackets. And when we are done looping through all our characters, we finally check if the stack count is not zero, because if this is the case, we still have a bracket on our stack which didn't match to any other one, so we have to return false and otherwise we return true. I will put the code on my GitHub, which I will link in the description box. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Bye!